welcome to Science and Kids. Today, Daniel, what are we learning about? Uh, 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 buoyancy? Buoyancy. Yeah, we're learning about buoyancy. Now, do you know what buoyancy is? No. Buoyancy is the tendency to flow in water or other liquid. That means that if something is buoyant, like a boat, it'll float on water. But if something is not buoyant, like maybe a rock, it's going to sink. Now today we're going to do an experiment Hello. called sink or... Hello! Hello. Hi, Hello, Mrs. Dot. Dot. Hello, Mrs. Dot. Do you know what we're learning about today, Mrs. Dot? Uh, do you want to tell no. her, Daniel? No! We're learning about buoyancy. Buoyancy? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what that is? Uh, no. No? If something is buoyant, it floats. If something is not buoyant, it doesn't float. And today oh, we're going to do an experiment on that. Okay, hey everyone, welcome back to Science and Kids. We're ready for our sink or float experiment. We're, I've made a list of the things that we're gonna test and that we have sink or float. We're gonna check off whichever each one does. And then we're also gonna need a container or a bowl, clear as best, and about a half a gallon to a gallon of water to test our objects in. So we're going to go on ahead and pour the water in the container and then we're going to check and see which items are buoyant and which items are not. It's important to make sure that you use harder items, not like stuffed animals that will absorb water. Okay, so the first item on our list is the yellow ball. So Oli, can you hand me the yellow ball? Yes. And we're going to see if it sinks or floats, if it's buoyant or if it's not buoyant. The yellow ball floats. It's buoyant. So we're going to put a check mark next to float. Up next, we're going to check the remove plastic item. Hey, you you remove the yellow ball? I need to hand it. No, take it out. There you go. We're going to see the plastic arm again. Daniel, can you hand me the plastic arm again? Thank you. Now, do y'all think it's going to be buoyant or not buoyant? Buoyant. You think it's going to be buoyant? Buoyant. Okay, let's test him. And... Um... I can't tell if that's buoyant or not. I think we're going to call that buoyant because his head is sticking out of the water. We're going to put a check next to float for the plastic army man. Up next, we're going to test out Daniel's rock. Daniel, can you hand me the rock? Thank you. Do you think it's going to be buoyant or not buoyant? Buoyant. Buoyant? Oli, what do you think? Not buoyant. Okay, let's check. And the rock is definitely not buoyant. So we're going to put a check mark next to sink. Up next, we have the white block. Oli, can you hand me the white block? Thank you. Okay, let's see. Do you think it's going to be buoyant or not buoyant? Buoyant. Buoyant. Okay, let's check. And it's buoyant. It floats. So we're going to put a check mark next to float. And that's a Lego piece. Yes, it's a Lego piece. Now, Oli, can you hand me the armadillo toy? We're going to see if the armadillo toy is buoyant or not buoyant. What do you think? Buoyant. Oli? Not buoyant. Let's see. And he's pretty buoyant. We're going to go with float. It is a buoyant toy. Next on our list is the car. Daniel? Thank you. Do you think it's going to be buoyant or not buoyant? Not, not buoyant. buoyant. Not buoyant? Let's see. It is definitely not buoyant. It sank right to the bottom. So we're going to put a check mark next to sink because the car was not buoyant. Okay. We only have two items left. It's going to be the metal ball. Daniel, can you hand me the metal ball? Do you think it's going to be buoyant or not buoyant? Buoyant. Not buoyant. Not buoyant? It's a pretty heavy ball. Let's see. And it is not buoyant. It's but it rolls right pretty well. So we're going to put a check next to sink 
because the metal ball was not fit. The last item we're going to check is this copper penny. So do you think it's going to be buoyant or not buoyant? Not buoyant. Buoyant? Let's see. And the penny was not buoyant. So I we're going to put a check to grab stuff next from to water sink. without getting your hands wet. And that is our sink and flow experiment. Thank you for coming to Science and Kids. Please subscribe and come back next time.